In this video, we'll look at the live view options available on the iQ4 digital back. There are several different options available to help capture your perfect image. First of all, if we open live view here, we can scroll from the side and select some different options. We have auto gain, which will automatically expose for the scene. If you're shooting with flash, this can be very useful. Or we can have simulation, Simulation will show your specific settings currently loaded into the camera and how your final image will look. In auto mode we can also adjust the brightness by swiping from the side and clicking on the brightness slider. We can also pick a white balance from this same side menu. By clicking on the white balance dropper, selecting the area we wish to take the white balance from, and we can save this as one of three custom white balances. Swiping from the other side gives us more options. First of all, by clicking the eye, we can enable focus peaking. This will show us which part of our image is in focus to make sure this is nice and accurate. The in focus area will light up in green this can be very useful while shooting landscapes or looking for critical focus in live view. Below this we have the options for a grid. We can have the standard grid or by pushing and holding this option we can select a variety of different grids to help us with our composition. At the bottom here we have our virtual horizon, which we can see will adjust depending on the orientation of the camera. When this goes white it indicates that the camera is completely level. We can turn all of these tools on and off to get our desired setup to capture our image. We can also access several different histograms to help us expose correctly for our image. We have the RGB histogram, the RAW histogram and our clipping at the bottom. The RGB histogram takes into account the data when the curve is applied in Capture One. The RAW histogram shows the potential we have in the RAW file and clipping at the bottom will start to appear if we start to lose any of our channels red, green or blue in the highlights. You can see as we increase our exposure here, we will see both the RGB and the raw histogram increase until we start to get the clip warning at the bottom. As you can see, our blue and then green clips first here. This will make sure you get the most information in your file and do not lose any data in the highlights. Once we are happy with our exposure, we can capture our image. 